Hi again. Welcome back to our channel. This is Woo Runner Overland. This is a taste of some of the areas near Indian Valley Reservoir, all within the boundaries of the BLM Walker Ridge Recreation Area in Northern California, about a two hour drive north of San Francisco. Now, I was invited on this trip by Dan Dempsey, Overland Family Man. This trip was organized by Lee of Overlanding with Kids Northern California Facebook group. It was going to be an extremely windy weekend at Indian Valley Reservoir, but we weren't going to let a little wind get in the way of our fun. Come along with us on this adventure as we meet a whole new group of overlanders. Look for a spot on this very busy weekend and camp in the winds. Today, it's really exciting. We're actually going camping. We've got Dan Dempsey, the Overland Family Man. Really amazing guy. You should go check out his YouTube channel. It's Overland Family Man. We are headed to somewhere great. I don't know where it is, but we're just following Dan. It's a really beautiful day. We're supposed to have great weather, except it's supposed to be very, very windy. So. We'll see how that goes, and we are going to check it out. How's it going? It's going. Everybody, this is Dan, Overland Family Man. That's right. You have to go check out his channel. His YouTube channel is freaking fantastic. Hey, buddy, it's small potatoes, but you know, I have fun with it. It's hey, it's a, it's a lot bigger than mine, so. Sharing my videos, you know, <laughs> trying to share some of the fun that we have. So. Uh, but it's a good time. It's a really good time. Yeah, yeah we're heading up Bartlett Springs Road uh, in the Indian Valley Reservoir from the west. And it's a fun little drive. There's some views. I think I'm sure you already saw. The oh yeah. And everything. Those views are fantastic. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. Our plan was to meet up with the rest of the group coming in from the west on Bartlett Springs Road. It was a beautiful drive. Some parts like this shelf road were not Mrs. Woo Runner's favorite. Along the way, we decided that we would scout some potential camp spots that Dan knew about, just in case to plan to camp at the very exposed Indian Valley Reservoir Basin was thwarted by the expected high winds. The first spot was this one. Really cool. That's a private That's awesome. little thing that takes people across the river. Now, of course, that's the only way across the river, unless you've got rigs like us, and then we can drive across the river. Across the way there was an amazing camp spot, but unfortunately it was taken. So, we just looked at the view, <laughs> contemplated life, accepted that we couldn't stay there, got back in our rigs, took one last look at the view, Head it on to the next spot. Oh, cool. Over the front here, you can see the foundation ruins. Yeah, let's stop here. In 1870, Mr. Green Bartlett discovered the mineral springs here and became attracted to the water's ability to help his rheumatism. He then brought others to confirm if this was for real and to their surprise it was. On October 12, 1870, Mr. Bartlett filed the necessary paperwork to claim this as his own and Bartlett Springs was born. Eventually it was sold out to bigger interests and by 1894 was described as, quote, one of the greatest natural sanitariums in the world. It peaked 
with five hotels, 350 cabins, and its own bottled water. It burned down and was rebuilt a few times, but the last fire took its toll, and today it sits like this, a reminder of our pioneering spirit and can-do attitude. Well, that was a really good time at Bartlett Springs. We learned a lot of history there, and we decided to take off and continue our journey for this wonderful weekend in Indian Valley Reservoir. Dan led us to another spot, a potential camp spot for us. This one needed a little scouting, and to scout it, I had to do a river crossing. That was a lot of fun. Got a little deep here, and the wife, she was okay. But on the other side there, we found this old car that's been there for years. And actually, this was the perfect camp spot. And so, if the basin wasn't going to work out, hopefully we'd come back here. Now it was time to go meet up with the rest of the crew and continue this adventure. We finally met up with everybody else. We all caravan together, as you can see, and we started heading and looking for a camp spot. We struck out a few times, and so we continued on. And in our way was a massive ditch that we all had to get through. Nice going. Dan was guiding us. Everybody was getting through. That's Ellen Cha. This is me in our rig. And of course, Mrs. Wu Runner had a lot of commentary. Slow, slow, slow. Ah. Oh. Oh my God. Well, I think she survived the ordeal. And eventually we decided We're going to go back to the place where I had that river crossing earlier. And so we did. We headed there. We all made the river crossing. As you can see right there, we started settling in on that bank of pebbles and stones in the middle of Cache Creek. An amazing place to set up camp. finally found our destination so we've been searching today uh, trying to find a place to camp and we found a little piece of heaven Camp setup went well, aside from the wind, which was making it really difficult to set up. Overall, it went smooth, and we were really happy. All by yourself? The organizer, say hello. Yeah, I'm gonna the people that we met were all people that I had met for the first time. Everybody was so friendly, and we had such an amazing time together. Cooking up some good food. Always making great meals on the trail. And after we set up, we tried to quiet things down and start settling in for the evening. Thank you to everybody who came out today from the Facebook group. You know, Facebook 
social media, it's really an amazing thing. It has brought together a bunch of people we've never met, we don't know each other, but you know, again, this community is one of the most amazing, most beautiful communities there is. And today I've made a bunch of new friends. So thank you very much. I'm gonna tag everybody in the video. But you know, right now, uh, we just had dinner. We're chilling out. We're gonna have a little campfire tonight, do some marshmallows. And I just want you guys to see the beauty that we're sitting in right now. So anyways, thank you very much. Till next time, I'll see you later. Bye.